I'm going to go and fire up the forges. It's hot inside this blacksmith studio in Daphne. Using steel heated to over 2,000 degrees, veterans are learning how to make knives. From hammering to grinding, the process takes grit. There's an opportunity sometimes uh, as just simple as just getting aggression out. Just it's a very physical. It's a very kind of uh, engaging with your mind, building, constructing something. Blacksmith Jerry Gardner runs the Blacksmith Experience. We layer it up, heat it up, pound it down. Where he teaches people how to make things out of steel. This is definitely a little bit heavier than a regular knife. It can be, yes. He also gears many of his classes toward veterans. Veterans like J.D. Drinkard, who has a traumatic brain injury from a roadside bomb in Iraq. It's great being able to uh, just have the camaraderie, having people to be able to that can relate to, to what I'm going through. Many of the veterans who come to these classes tell me that they have PTSD. And they tell me that working with steel can be therapeutic. And there is some therapeutic value to it because you can't focus on anything but what you're doing. You know, you can't remember yesterday, you're not worried about tomorrow, you're worried about right now in this moment. When they find that somebody has gone through something similar, it's easier to open up and talk about those experiences that they've had. The classes seem to be a magnet for these veterans. Blacksmithing has become more popular. Keeping up with the military theme, guys, we want you to build this. Since the hit Netflix show, Forged in Fire. And it's very rewarding to take a piece of metal, you know, that in and of itself is just kind of useless, you know. And turn it into something useful. You take a picture of it, you put it on Facebook, you bragged all your buddies, you know. It takes several classes to complete a knife. But all the while, these veterans are bonding with one another and sharing stories about serving our country. For What's Working with photojournalist Arnell Hamilton, I'm Devin Walsh.